wonderful day. A woman from this village tonight. Baby, thank you for waiting to the phone. I will be giving to you a welcome to our new world. This is for the day. So you can leave my name in this video. And the sign down the top of the time. So baby, let me give you a bulletin tonight. Where the public side is coming to the show. Which is Korea. At the show of Kenya. And the government are delivering commitments. And front of service delivery across the country. Even during the launch of the first two of center in the Mendes in the county, the says emphasize the government aim to improve the sensitivity to essential services for all citizens. And as this hard report, the government has also announced a plan to recruit a good the National Service and Women's Program as part of its effort to address the unemployment rate among the In a bid to enhance accessibility to essential government services for residents, Public Service Cabinet Secretary Moses Kuria has inaugurated the first Huduma Digital Center in Runyanjo's constituency, Embu County. During the launch event, CS Kuria emphasized the government's dedication to improving service delivery nationwide. He highlighted that the newly established Huduma Digital Center is set to serve as a hub for providing cutting-edge services to citizens blending both traditional analog with modern digital services. It is six months since I took over this, this, this ministry. Katika hiyo mesi sita, hapo awali nilikuta tukona huduma center hamsini na mbili. Ambazo zimejegwa kwa muda wa miaka kumi na moja iliyopita. Lakini kwa hii mesi sita peke yake, tulifungua huduma center kule upado wa laikipi ya east, ukule na nyuki, na leo hii, tunazindua the first huduma center ambayo pia itakuwa digital center. Yaani wale wabao wanataka kuja hapa kuchukua vitabulisho, kujileta hapa, ni sawa. Lakini pia hapa tutakuwa na digital center ambao raisi wetu ametupatia muongozo ya kwamba tunaweza kufanya kazi kupitia kwa mtambo wa computer. On the matter of the pressing issue of high unemployment rates among youths in Kenya, Kuria announced plans to recruit 300,000 youths into the National Youth Service NYS program this year. According to him, the recruitment process will be transparent and open to eligible candidates across the country. Sai chini ya uongozi wangu, tushadhihirisha kwamba hivi ndivyo Kenya itakuwa kutoka hapa kwenda hapo mbele. Mambo ifanywe kwa usawa mambo ifanywe kwa uwazi bila udaganyifu hauhitaji connection ndio upate nafasi the only connection you need is internet connection you don't need any other connection ukipata tu connection ya internet hiyo ingine kila mtu atakuwa na nafasi through the NYS program, recruited youths will receive training and acquire relevant skills that they can utilize in various sectors across the country, for instance, construction, transportation, housing, and agriculture. The National Youth Service is the contractor number one in Kenya. The mambo ya kujenga nyumba kama hizi, mambo ya kujenga barabara, mambo ya kilimo, mambo ya water pans, Mambo ya dams, mambo ya kutengeneza nguo za kuuza mpaka huko nje, hiyo yote na pia mambo ya viwanda, hiyo yote itakuwa chini ya NYS. Reporting for Hope TV Newswatch, I'm Grace Ahati. Thank you so much, Great Ahati, for that report. And now, and to other matters, Deputy President Riga de Gashagwa has welcomed the call for the opposition leaders in Kilifi County in reviving the economy of the region. This was after leaders, including Governor Gideon Mongaro and Malindi MP Amine Nyanzi, called for increased investment in reviving the tourism sector in the area. The Deputy President said revitalizing Malindi will benefit the local people and the entire country. He said consultations will be 
held with the Cabinet Secretary for Transport, Kipchumba Murkomen, on upgrading facilities, including the runaway of the Malindi Airport, uh, to meet international standards. The DP also said, who was speaking in Malindi, Kilifi County, during the breakfast of the first and the annual fundraiser for the Malindi Education Development Program, a Senator Speaker or the Senate Speaker, Amazon Kingi Thank the Deputy President uh, for leading the war against illicit drug abuse in the country. Mumefuata hii mzee baba miaka mingi. Amejaribu kufika imekuwa ngumu. Rais amepanga yeye sasa. Sasa hii mzee ameumia. Tuseme ukweli. Na amejitolea kwa nchi hii. Sasa rais ameona hii mzee baada ya kumia hii miaka yote na miaka imezidi amtaftie nafasi kiti ya heshima ndio siku na staafu astaafu na he na heshima si ndio si hapo rais amefanya mzuri lakini sasa nyinyi kama mzee amepangwa kazi sasa nyinyi mtabaki msituni mtabaki msituni sasa hii kijana ya sogoi kama alishinda nyinyi mkiwa na system na deep state na kila kitu sasa akiwa rais mtaweza yeye kweli na unajua rais William Ruto alikuja hapa siku nyingi sana akaleta michango mikubwa sana lakini ilipofika watu wakati wa kura meda ilimsahau wakasahau fadhila si ndio tas <laughs> ama mimi nasema si ni ukweli eh, sasa mimi leo tumeanza na huyu rigiji Si mimi ndio nilisema nimtafute nikamtafuta akakubali. Sasa hata akianza huyu pia mumpatie nini? Akiwatendea wema nyinyi pia mtende wema. Eh maana hata niliogopa kumwambia rais kwamba tunaenda huko Meda. Niliogopa kumwambia kwamba hata nipatie mimi mchango nipeleke huko Meda. Maana yake alingeniuliza ah boss aje tena Meda tena. <laughs> Lakini tunafurahi kuwa hapa na nilipoongea na naibu wa rais kwamba tuje hapa alifurahi sana akasema mimi napenda watu and leaders and also members of Bibilia Sako celebrated the outgoing chairman Walter Ochengo Oko, who served since 2003 and the chair for the Sako uh, at Sanli Ngure takes over the mantle uh, over the uh, take over the mantle sorry members of the Sako have held the outgoing chairman as a leader who was social visionary and empathetic individual as Abigail Namude reports Biblia Sako has gotten a new face as the long-serving chairman Walter Ocheng Owoko, who served since 2003 to 2004, hands over the leadership mantle. Walter has been held by the members and leaders of the Sako as a social, visionary, and empathetic leader who bore other people's burdens. Appreciate and will truly miss you. You've worked with us, chair. Uh, I remember when Jackie, way back in 2020. 2014, you actually went to Nakuru to help Jackie when Jackie was bereaved by the dad. When Josephine lost the son, you went up to Kapenguria and it was on 27th of December. I can't forget that. We, we will truly miss you for that and we really appreciate. We have called you, we have never come to you and you have never let us down. And uh, look into where we are today. You have struggled, you have fought this battle. I remember one time, just a reflection, uh, with a dragon called a uh, system. I can call it a dragon. You have fought a battle for that. Because I remember there is a time that you can, in the morning you can have a statement, in the afternoon the same statement with the different figures, in the evening a different statement with the, <laughs> the same thing. Nothing has been added but three statements for the same day. On his part, Ocheng has requested the incoming chairman and the leaders left to embrace his leadership and serve the members with the thing that it will attract more membership. I planted the seed. Apollos watered, watered it, but God has made it, has, has been making it grow. May the same spirit be among you that it's not about competition, but we have different talents. 
if well used, we shall make Bibilia great. The members of the SACO have also been urged to embrace technology in this digital era, which will see them take over the marketing and the entrepreneurship world. On his part, Bishop William Atuimi Singh, who was the guest speaker for the event, also called upon Kenyans to join SACOs for their economic growth. Like this Mesa, when it is good, people will say, who made it? They admire the thing and they admire the person who did First of all. Now, let me share with you now the importance of excellence. Somebody say excellence is about being exceptional in an assignment you understand. Exceptional. May we accept it. May we accept it. May it be people who are different from others. May this circle be a circle that people will admire and they will always want to, to, to be associated with it. hospitals, media houses, and individuals. Reporting for Hope TV Newswatch, my name is Abigail Namude. Thank you so much, Abigail Namude, for that report. And also, we wish the new chairman good luck in his leadership. And now we move on to tourism matters, where Tourism Wildlife Cabinet Secretary Dr. Alfred Mutua has announced that his department has set aside Kenya shillings 20 million to construct a cultural and heritage site in Narok County in an effort to expand the tourism industry. Mutua, who spoke in Narok, said the initiative aims at increasing foreign tourists from 2.5 million to 10 million tourists per year in the country. At the same time, he said his ministry will recruit 30 scouts and give three vehicles to help in the conservation, conservation sorry, efforts. The CS also say that the county is among six pilot counties that will receive funding for the human life conflict compensation. On his part, narrow Governor Patrick and Tutu say the two levels of government will corroborate to be Red's room along the tourism corridors to improve on the comfort of the tourists. He added that Narok is endowed with numerous beautiful tourism sites, among them Loiter Forest, Masai Mau Forest, Majimoto Hot Spring, Suswa Caves, among others. We are looking at uh, ways and means of uh, marketing uh, tourism in Kenya and particularly mapping out uh, new attraction areas. Here in Narok, uh, I know very many people know that uh, Masai Mara is here in Narok, but we want to get away from the traditional attraction and now start uh, looking at a uh, new attraction. One of them is uh, Susua where we have the baboon uh, parliament and also the loiter forest, the Majimoto uh, hot springs, and many other, the Mao forest. We are also thinking of uh, introducing um, the apes uh, in the Mao forest. So um, Dr. Mutua has been, really the ministry has been uh, working with me uh, and also other governors. Tunataka pesa yende kila mahali narok iacho kwa mifuko ya vijana ambao wana kazi akina mama ambao wanataka pesa akina baba ambao wanataka kulipa school fees pesa iachwe hapa na itaachwe hapa ikiwa mtalii atakuja hapa azunguke na pia akae siku nyingi sio siku mbili tatu alafu aende tumeongea jambo la kwanza tukisema kwamba mtalii anataka kuwa na comfort akifika mahali kuna choo nzuri kuna mali pazuri kuna huduma nzuri ambao unahudumiwa kwa hivyo nikakubaliana na yeye kwamba mimi nita nitamsaidia tujenge rest area mbili za kisasa yenye maduka na choo nzuri wakati mtalii anapita ana mali pa kujisaidia anaona we are a developed country anasema hii ni nchi nzuri ambayo inasonga mbele na tukakubaliana mimi nitajenga mbili ile ile kumfanyia ile jump starting na mheshimiwa atajenga zingine nne mm. uh, to start with at the minimum Tari mheshimiwa governor umefanya kazi nzuri sana mheshimiwa Ntutu kwa sababu umejenga zingine kule mm. uh, katika park na zingine. Kwa hivyo hizi nataka ziende huku kwa wananchi mali watalii wanapita. That will be a big win in the tourism industry if implemented and uh, the push for the digital learning has received a boost 
after the Longhorn Publishers and Safaricom and Vela plan to supply 1.5 million tablets to students across the country. In the deal, learners will access Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development KICD alignment content covering preschools to form for learners. Under the agreement, Safaricom will assemble the tablets, provide data connectivity, and offer insurance in case of loss. A tablet and the digital learning package will cost Kenya shillings 13,000, which is payable in monthly installment for a year. The local learning tablet will have internet connectivity in block to education content assuring child protection and safeguarding is enforced. As part of the partnership, Safaricom will have been looking to diversify its revenue streams, will assemble the tablets and provide data connectivity and insurance cover in cases of loss. It also includes extra material like videos, audio education games, quizzes and assignments, which will help to enrich the content. Teachers will also have access to a rich receptory of educational resources for multiple publishers, enabling diverse and engaging teaching experiences. And now let's take a short commercial break. We shall come back with a lot of news, including the political, business, and also other news. Don't touch the dial. In order to keep hope alive in the airwaves, Hope Media has a couple of initiatives. Friends of Hope. Friends of Hope is you and I forming a team of well-wishers and volunteers who give in cash and kind to support in spreading the gospel at Hope Media. Currently, Hope Media is running a campaign under Friends of Hope dubbed 100 for 1. Through the campaign, Hope Media is asking Hope FM and Hope TV listeners and viewers to give just 100 shillings in order to reach one more soul with the message of hope and the gospel. Engage with us on our social media platforms at Hope FM Live and at Hope TV Kenya. Kuwa Rafikim So Leo. Thank you for choosing Hope TV, the channel that brings you hope, entertainment, and inspiration. We value you and would like to serve you better. Talk to us by scanning this QR code on your screen or go to our social media page at Hope TV Kenya and click on the survey link by the name Hope TV Survey. It will just take a few minutes but means the world to us. We value your feedback. Hope TV, look and live. Keeping it here and welcome to the second segment of our news bulletin tonight where Deputy President Shigari Gashagwa has encouraged the youth in the country to take advantage of the skills they have to grab the opportunity available in the agriculture, horticulture, industrial and housing sector and use them to better themselves. Speaking as he is presided over the fourth graduation ceremony of Nyeri National Polytechnic in Nyeri County where 4,823 students were conferred with different certificates, the Deputy President urged the youth to be aggressive in the pursuit for career advancement. The DP emphasized that the Kenya Kwanzaa government commitment to empowering the youth and aiding them through equipping them with skills that will enhance competitiveness in the job market. He also appealed to the youth to take advantage of the technical and vocational education and training program being rolled out and the grassroots in the polytechnics and technical institutions in the country, as well as new recognition of the prior learning policy launched recently. Learning institutions, especially TVETs, have been urged to inter great intelligent digital technologies to aid in the digital driven development plan that administration is still driving in the country. Kwa hivyo kwa wale wamefuzu leo najua mumechoka kusoma na BD na kuweka BD but the hard work has just begun. Karibuni kwa kiwanja. Na pare kwa kiwanja hakuna formula Na hakuna kubebele sana. Bidi yako diyo itakuokoa. You must wake up early. The early bird catches the worm. You must be men and women of integrity. So that when you are given a job, whoever has given you, trust you 100%. I want to invite you because you are young people to start on the right footing. By working hard and being men and women of integrity, by being trusted, by being responsible for whatever task 
that lies ahead of you. There are great opportunities in this country for you in the building industry, in the horticultural industry, in the agricultural sector, in the transport sector. Please occupy your rightful place in society. And let me advise you as your father, nobody will come for you at home to give you a job and to tell you what to do. Matters Road Safety Campaign for the second year running, Isuzu East Africa is rolling out the eyes on the road campaign to promote driver wellness and vehicle safety aimed at enhancing safety among the general public and customers across the country. The launch event was held at Mombasa Road premises of Isuzu East Authorities Dealer, Kenya Coach Industries, KCI. The eyes on the road campaign is part of the Isuzu Wellness Month set for the month of April. The campaign will focus on intensifying safety standards standards among school buses drivers public service vehicles and medium and heavy duty truck drivers in partnership with the auto express and brigade stone the campaign will provide comprehensive medical wellness checkups to ensure drivers are fit for driving and that they are free for medical conditions that may negatively impact their driving abilities hence boosting road safety the campaign will also conduct vehicles inspection across the isuzu dealer network around country and speaking during the campaign launch isuzu East Africa Director After Sales and Channel Development Julius Mwangi said the campaign is part of the company's promise uh, to Isuzu customers to provide enhanced services in transport solutions to ensure that vehicles and drivers are fit for the road. As a key stakeholder in this, in this industry, KCI roles and responsibilities are in relation to road safety are many and varied. We work within a complex and evolving structure that seeks to make and implement decisions affecting road safety. We too face an ongoing challenge of trying to ensure that the decisions made are the right ones. We are therefore acutely aware that lives depend on this in all forms of transportation. However, I am here today mainly because the campaign that Isuzu East Africa is about to unveil speaks to everyone who uses the road. I urge us to continue supporting Isuzu East Africa in implementing the campaign Eyes on the Road campaign. Eyes on the Road campaign if our drivers are not healthy and safe, then the f children will not be safe. So it's very important to make sure some of these things we take for granted, our eyes, our hearing, all of us are lazy until, but it's important to have a preventive checkup and in times to get treatment before the condition worsens. So all of us can work to the end of our working life. Matters Road Safety Now, we focus on to Matters Agriculture, where more than 1,100 farmers in Kajedo County have benefited from agricultural training through Safaricom Foundation with Zesha Agri Program, which was a Kenya Shilling 30 million partnership between the Foundation, Africa Insta Solution, AIC, and GS Endeavor. As part of the program, farmers underwent a four month training session at a seven acre demo farm in Ngama, Kajedo South Sub County, where they learned appropriate farming skills and technologies. Among the crops planted on the farm were onions, capsiums, tomatoes, kale, sweet potatoes, cabbages, and poultry rearing. And last year, 297 farmers graduated from the program in March, with an additional 7,000 farmers graduating in September. Most of the graduates went on to establish poultry farms and kitchen garden, where others formed community groups where they shared knowledge with fellow farmers in Kajedo County. The purpose of this particular project was to allow us to focus on agribusiness and particularly with the youth and women. And so uh, the project was uh, um, in partnership with uh, Africa Install Solutions, who are our implementing partners. Together, with our partners, we have been able to um, impact the lives of about 1,200 people in this area of Loki, Loitoktok, 
the partner put up a demo farm and the demo farm was used to train farmers in this area in modern farming business using the right agrochemicals, using the right processes and procedures. And now allow us to celebrate our own. We have very own Dickens Luvanda Bugs Engagement Champion won in the Content Creators Award 2023. He had the privilege of participating in the inaugural Content Creators Awards 2023 Gala at the National Museum of Kenya, Thursday, April 14, 2024, where Timothy Owase, the CEO for the Kenya Film Commission, was the chief guest. Dickens participated as a nominee under the Engagement Champion category and in a second win in less than five months after the Utumishi Bora Awards 2023 media champion category, he backed the win. He has expressed his hearty expression of the gratitude to his family, colleagues, friends, and fans from both Hope TV Kenya, Hope Radio, and Digital Space, and all who supported him all along during the voting phase. He has added that journalists are content creators. They inform, bring social ideas to life, and share opinions, adding that amidst the evolving digital landscape, content creation is changing quite fast, and this forms a ground for the journalists. Congratulations, Dickens, for that and keep winning. We now move to other story where even as the government is committed to a, an enhanced technical vocational education training that is tivet sector in order to build a solid base of the human resource that are equipped with skills that will help them to engage in the gainful employment in the country. The above colleges are faced with multiple challenges, including that of overpopulation. According to the principal at Mukasaka Technical College in Bumula constituency, Nelson Oma, lack of enough lecture halls is the big challenge they are facing. Oma has also urged parents to embrace technical skills for their children since it is creating self-employment. On his part, Moses Sakwa, who is the deputy principal in the college, called for the residents and students to embrace and uphold good relationships. We had a challenge of attitude, perception, or what we were ni college ya watu wenye wameanguka mtihani so wengi hawakupenda kuja tibet waliona heri wa kai but, but uh, with our, some effort from the community around the management ya shule tumefanya ku change your perception even the, 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 the local leaders on this idea sana na wakapigia tu wengi wanapiga kuingia wengi kwa wakati mmoja sasa infrastructure imekuwa challenge because uh, to the apart that increase in classes, increase in rooms, the same at the same rate in one of us are being here. But uh, to some extent, Serikali may be here. There's uh, we had structures that had started earlier. Now, and the Lakum Malaysia very soon. Now, to go in contracts with them with Wanapuja Kujenga more structures in the future. Now we take a look at what is happening in the sports world where the KCB RFC will be out hunting for the Kenya Cup glory in the forest as they take on Cabras RFC tomorrow in the morning cup final which will be played at the Kakamega showground. The two rugby titans will be meeting for the seventh time and tomorrow final will be going on and the two teams uh, will also be beating the Cabras and Bet while KCB facing two sparks. The bankers capitalizing on the home advantage bounced back to a triumph of 21-12 to 12 win in the cup semi-finals against the Oilers to secure a slot in the much-awaited final. The eight-time cup winner KCB last month won the trophy in 2021 after dismantling the Sugar Men with a narrow win of 28-25 at the then. The bankers have missed out on the coveted title in the last two seasons after being edged out by the Meningai Oilers in the semi-finals in 2021-2022 to 2022 season and 
and losing out 19 to 9 in the final Cabras in the season of 2022 to 2023. KCB assistant coach Dennis Mwanja, speaking ahead of the clash, noted that the team is on its final touches, sealing all the loopholes that might have caused them in the last encounters. The inclusion of Asati and uh, Olokusi brings in a lot of value and uh, flavor in the team because Asati is a good playmaker and also a link man between the forwards and the backs at his number nine position. Olokusi at lock and back row at, as well as a utility. So he, he gives us good go forward ball and uh, also aerial balls in the lineouts. Uh, we, we are going to encounter a very physical Cabra side and uh, when you talk of the physicality they bring on board, we also have enough physicality to match. And also we need the, the nippiness at the back line, which will be the game changer for us. So it will get to a point whereby it will be about the chances that people take and the less mistakes they make. Yes, uh, Michael Lomalo is a huge uh, prospect and a good find that we had. And uh, we look forward to having him play and he has a lot to offer in the team. He is also very hungry to play. We need uh, such, such uh, youthful experience and exuberance to, to get to such levels. And with, with him, we are assured of having more years of service in the team. And that is all we had lined up for you in the News Watch tonight. Thank you so much for everyone who helped us accomplish the bulletin. My name is Nele Swanjiro and our sign language interpreter has been Boniface Moravi. Allow us to wish you a blessed weekend. <laughs>